This is fifth exercise of mold design, preliminary design. So before we start this exercise, make sure you copy the uh, start file into your working folder. You can right click, select save target as, save it into your working folder. Okay, and after that, we open the file and then uh, we unzip it. So inside the start, uh, this zip file, we have the start file and also the catalog. And we will use the catalog, the layout and also the setout. This is step 1. Next, we will create the mold assembly and we open the mold setup wizard and the assembly name is pedal. Okay, and then create new folder and this we save it into your working folder. And after that, um, we select the layout. So we select the layout type B and then click OK. Okay, after that we select this and after that press control button on the keyboard and Repeat it and we select all these three fixed side, movable side, and ejection system. And then we right click, select delete component. Yes. Okay, and after that, we go to the uh, setup. And then we check this enable at one editing options and we load the uh, template. And we select this hsc.exl. And then OK. This is step 2. Next is about the layout. So we activate the layout type B. And then we go to datums plane. And we select the main plane. Right click OK. And after that, uh, we create a sketch on the XY plane. Press middle mouse button and after that uh, we create a point so a long Y and then uh, we give dimensions uh, the distance between this point and to the UCS is about 180 mm 
and after that uh, right click select exit schedule okay and then um, from here we select the layout UCS and we select the point middle mouse button and then OK okay and after that we load the work parts and and here the set work uh, set work part here we select the uh, select the what I call that the work part the start file so we select this model v1 work part and after that click OK and then we place it uh, on the layout UCS we just create And after that, um, right click, select OK. So we want to rotate the uh, part. So what we need to do is activate the layout type B. And after that, and here we right click, select Edit Feature. And the Z axis is changed to 90 degree. And then OK. Now we activate the parting uh, assembly. And we go to assembly, select a mirror part. We select the model. Hit the mouse button. And we select this plane. So the ZX plane. And after that, right click, select OK. OK, and after that, we go to Setup. So this is the Setup tables, and then we change the uh, value at here. This M length uh, change to set three seven. Sorry, it's seven uh, three six, and uh, width is eight one six, and uh, we rows um, width is about sixty five, and uh, leaping okay. This is 50. Okay. And after that, uh, what we need to do is edit the distance. So we activate the layout. And we edit the schedule. And this we change to one nine five acid schedule. This is step three. Next, we will add a new sub assembly. So, first, we must make sure the main assembly is activated. And after that, we add the assembly, sub-assembly, and we name it as sliders. After that, this we use on assembly UCS, right click, select OK. And after that, we go to the bottom here and select the add uh, mode component, and we select the slide unit. And the catalog here, we can browse it and select the Hasco MM. Okay, and this we select the slider assemblies and we select this Z180.
So we use place on face options and then we select the XY plane. And okay, after that, um, we add reference and we select this center point options. We add it here. Okay. And then uh, we create a symmetry line. After that, we place it somewhere here. And then we uh, click this dimension icon. So this the distance is 60. Okay. After that, um, we go to the first optional offset and rotations. And this is the delta Z we change to 115. And the Z axis is negative 90. So this is the result. Okay, so uh, this is we are using the group control. So we want to change uh, this, the directions. So we change to individual control and we select this. And this we change it to 90. Okay, after we done this, we change this individual control back to group control. So we go to the second require. Uh, we edit the parameters. So this is the table. After that, uh, we click here. So we can uh, add, edit the uh, parameters. Okay, uh, this B1 we change it to 100. This is um, 80. This is 100. After that, we click secondary. And we change it, uh, the L2, this, we change to 60. And then click OK. After that, uh, we click this, expand at once. So we change uh, this. Dx, we change it to 30. Then the xy is 50. And the dz is about mm, 85. Okay. And then uh, we need to edit the size of angle pin. So we select this and we select 18 times uh, 240, click OK. After that, at here, we select this, guide pillar Z012. And then click OK to approve. So you can see that uh, the angle pin not yet uh, changed. So we edit it again. So this uh, is 30, 50, OK, and this is 85. OK. So the angle pin is changed already. After that, select OK. In step 5, we will uh, build the standard sliders. So we uh, open this. And here we right click, select Add this component. 
and we select the XY plane. After that, uh, this same component, we change it to different component. And we add reference. So we select the center point. And after that, um, we place a point. Somewhere here, okay. And after that, um, the distance is about one hundred and twenty five, and then uh, we go to the offset and rotation optional stage. The delta Z we change to negative one one five, and the Z axis is ninety degree. And then click OK. Okay, after that, uh, we activate this. Activate the sub assembly, or uh, we just uh, add. And then we go to assembly, mirror part. And after that, uh, we select. Select all the cent uh, center slider except for this locking heels. After that, uh, middle mouse button and we select this. Select the Z explain. And then at here we check this slide Z one hundred and eighty. Okay, after that click OK. So we uh, activate the locking heel. And we go to edit copy geometry mirror select this middle mouse button and make sure this merge on a uh, must off we change to merge on and then select the zx plane right click select ok This is uh, step 5. Next, we will add the mold set and we will start, uh, start with the moveable side. And now we need to activate the main assembly and then uh, go to the uh, end mold component. And from here, uh, I need to select the uh, uh, what I call that the mold set. So just now I saved the catalog under the uh, preliminary design. So this is the catalog and I select the mold set. Okay, and under the mold set, I select the movable side and this movable side HSC. And then click OK. So we use on assembly UCS and OK. Okay, after that, uh, we open the setup and we change the M space to zero. 
and uh, MP1H to 140 and this MP2H uh, to 0 and MP3H also to 0 and then click OK now we activate this and then we go to solid extend object middle mouse button and this is 140 preview Okay, and then um, we will bring the ejection system. So, um, what we need to do is uh, activate the main assembly and then select the add more component. And then uh, we use on assembly UCS. Uh, before that, if need to reconnect, uh, please reconnect to Hasco catalog, Hasco MM. And this we use on assembly UCS. And then select OK. So we repeat it for the fixed site. Okay, and now we go to the setup and we change the this F space to zero, this to one hundred forty uh, and forty six, and this to zero and this F three also to zero. So one, two, three, four, and then click OK. After that, uh, we activate the this FP R one, and then we go to solid extend object. We select this face middle mouse button, and this is one hundred and thirty. Review, okay. And now we. Activate the main assembly and we select this and change the color. Okay, after that, uh, we open the setup again and now we change the M length. This to 816 816 and then click OK this is the most set in step 7 we will add the ejector so um, we show only the I call it the work part so this is the mirror part okay after that um, we show only this the ejection setup and we activate it and we select this and this right click select height Okay, and after that, we activate the work part. And we click show.
Okay, and after that, um, um, we activate this detections of uh, HSC sub assembly, and then at here we select the uh, ejection design at ejector. So we select the ejector pins uh Z forty and this one we select five okay and make sure this auto size selection is checked. Okay. So we use place on face options and we select this plane. And then we will start uh, placing three ejector. Roughly here, one. Okay, and two more at here. So when you rotate, you can see that uh, the model is upside down. So we go to this first optional offset and rotation uh, stage and we click flip. Uh, button okay and after that uh, click select the second uh, required stage and we use a geometry options And we show only uh, these filter points. We use these options, filter point options, and we use uh, pick point option. This one. So we need to unselect. Yeah, we use this uh, pick point options. And we use uh, we select it by box, and it will take a while uh, because the system have to calculate the length of each ejector. So this is the result, and then you can select OK. After we add ejector, uh, now we will create a motion simulation analysis to make sure our slider work correctly. So first thing we need to activate the slider and then um, create a mid plane. So we select this face and also this face. So this is the mid plane. And after that, we activate the slide Z180. And at here, we create a sketcher. And we select this plane. After that, we add geometry. So, uh, 
We add geometry is to create a circle representing the internal cylinder. So you must make sure that you select the uh, smallest diameter of the area. After that, middle mouse button, middle mouse button, right click, exit sketcher. And after that, we go to uh, solid, and extrude. So this is we use uh, two closes option. Okay. Now we need to hide the work part first. So we activate one of it. And then um, we create a composite curve. After that, we use an extrude. Also use to closest options. And then right click select OK. So do you see the uh, symbol here? The uh, exclamation mark, red color. So this means uh, this not it is not uh, what I call that update yet so we select this right click and select update and deassociate so this is the result okay now uh, we hide this one so you can see that um, our angular pins balance is missing the holes so what we need to do is um, activate their sub-assembly and then uh, we go to assembly, assembly cut, automatic. So this also same. Okay, so we need to update this for the mirror part. Next, we will prepare the motion simulation. Uh, so we need to show the work part and slider sub assembly, movable side clamping plate, and also the ejection. Okay. After that, we go to analysis. Oh, but before that, make sure you activate the main assembly. Okay. And 
and after that at here we right click select new set and name it as fix so um, it's like the locking heels and the pin And then right click select attach so this is the result and after that uh, I select all the injection and including including the work part after that, at here, I select the, uh, what I call that new set, and this is in section. So, and the color is changing to yellow. And then you can see that I miss, uh, I miss the four screws. So, I select the four screws. And then show the injection. After that, move the mouse to here, middle mouse button to attach it. Okay, and next is about the movable side. So I select this. set and the color is green okay and now is about the slide so new set slide one New set slide two. New set slide three. And this is slide four. So this is the result. Now we switch it to set motion tab. And then uh, at the ejection here, double click. Make sure the time is start from zero. And the magnitude is 300. And the arrow is pointing downward. Okay, and we save it. Click play. So if uh, the injection is move, moving downward for 300 mm, and next we uh, double click the next block, and this time the magnitude is 100 and arrow is pointing upward. Okay, and now we switch to simulate tab and we click check and, and here we get a long list of items uh, which are not included of any set therefore we will not be analyst that's okay so at last here we have a message that tells us at least one fully fixed rigid set is recommend so now uh, we don't have the rigid set 
So what we need to do is pin the uh, fixed set. Oh, sorry, before that, we, uh, switch to prepare assembly and pin it. And now we uh, click this, check initial collisions to make sure there are uh, none. So this is before we start calculation. Okay, this is step 9. Next, we are ready for the calculations. So save it first and then we switch it to um, simulate tab. Click calculate. Click uh, say yes to all questions. And now we will get the error message saying that this is an interruptions so we click ok for the message and now we uh, click this analyst collision so at here we can select highlight involved face highlight involved bodies or no highlight okay And after that, um, we exit the analysis tools. Okay. After that, we activate the slider and we edit the feature. So we switch to uh, secondary and this we change to 55. Okay. And this also same. And then uh, we activate the main assembly, load it, and after that uh, we recalculate it. So we also uh, get the interrupt motions message, and now we close it and we activate the slider and edit add so we edit the uh, dz85 to 90 and this also same Okay, after that we activate the main assembly, we go to motion analysis, so we rerun the calculation. So now the calculation is uh, complete and without any conditions.
and this is a repeat button and this is play button So when uh, we when uh, we are playing the uh, simulations, okay, we can use a uh, zoom, pan, and rotate function to take a closer uh, look. And at the bottom here, we can also uh, create the movie. So it will start when you are uh, click play. And this is the speed. So this is the motion simulation step 10.